Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of Spin Cycle, the show for quick reviews of albums new and old. And today I will be talking about the new album from The Charm, The Fury, called The Sick, The Dumb, and The Happy, which was released on March 17, 2017. I've noticed a little trend over the first few episodes of Spin Cycle in 2017. I'm definitely interested in finding new, obscure, or just other artists that I haven't explored before. Some are older bands like Creator and Body Count, but others are new like Eiffenemmer and Today's Band. My purpose with this show is not just to review an album from a casual listener's perspective, it's also to expose the world to these groups, especially younger bands that I think have a good sound and a lot of promise. I may not get a lot of info on a band like Today's Band, I don't have a lot of info, but I'll let the music speak for itself then. So The Charm, The Fury is a groove metal metalcore band from Amsterdam, Netherlands. They were founded in 2010 as a quartet, and though they are led by a female singer, they don't want to be defined by that. It's definitely not meant to be a gimmick. Caroline Westendorp joined with Matthias Parent on guitar, Lucas Arnoldson on bass, and Matthias Tieken on drums. In 2011, they added lead guitarist Rolf Purdock to become a quintet, but Parent left in 2016, which yielded rhythm guitar duties to Martin Sleichtenhurst. The Sick, the Dumb, and the Happy is the second studio LP from the band, following 2013's A Shade of My Former Self. This album was released on Nuclear Blast Records, while the first album was released on Listenable Records, which is a French independent label. The sound is a deliberate departure from their earlier work. It features a mix of melody and brutality, so there's definitely some groove metal and some metalcore throughout this album. Clearly though, they've set their sights on the ugliness of the modern world with this album thematically. And apparently the recording process for it was not a walk in the park either. But this is an album both the band and the label believe can make some waves in 2017 and give the band a little bit more notoriety. Now I can say this without hyperbole, this is a strange album, but that's not a bad thing. I'm not just talking about the album art, which is badass by the way. It starts off with a song that is reminiscent of Far Beyond Driven Era Pantera, and then from there it is unpredictable. Each song really has its own identity. Caroline's vocals have a life of their own, whether they are clean or whether they are more death metal vocals. Her growls are pretty solid, her screams are mostly on point, and her clean singing is absolutely beautiful. She definitely has influences from Phil Anselmo of Pantera, Chester Bennington of Linkin Park, Angela Gossow of Arch Enemy, and Charlotte Vessels of Delane. But there are also definitely times where the guitars and the drums just rip through you. It is definitely headbanging music from start to finish. As Jasso would say, a song like Weaponized is definitely a banger. And it's certainly a modern metal album which best explains the diversity throughout the album. So my top four songs from the album are Echoes, which starts with very brutal guitar work but then throws in some clean singing. Blood and Salt, which is a slower paced song and more gothic, but it has plenty of aggression in it as well. Silent War, which is definitely the most melodic song, doesn't have any growling in it, but it is passionate and it is a dark ballad. And then Break and Dominate, which is a superb ending to the album with just a straight brutal crusher. But my favorite song on the album would have to be Weaponized because it's that sort of in-your-face metalcore sound and you can definitely tell this is where the band really shines with this speed, aggression, as well as the melody. Slowly poison, drown in fucking toys and numb inside as your bed as am I You barely even know that you're ever gonna die You barely even know that you're ever gonna die Just had my dreams of fire You know what I desire Just had my dreams of fire Or dead to my desire Overall, The Charm The Fury is certainly aptly named as a band, with a good mix of growling groove metal and passionate clean singing. So much of their energy though comes from lead singer Carolyn Westendorp, but the whole band is a live wire. I didn't know anything about them before listening to this album, but I'm glad I did. I definitely see a future for this band, but they've also set a decent bar for themselves, one I hope they can continue to push as they grow in recognition. This is definitely a worthy album to bring in new fans, as I am sure to be one moving forward. So my top five for the week are just some fun covers. In the Army Now by Sabaton, it's a bonus track from Corollis Rex. I just love that song and they always play it before they actually go on stage. World of Promises by In Flames, it's a bonus track off of Clayman. That's just a fun track and I really like the way In Flames played it. Eleanor Rigby by Godhead off of 2000 Years of Human Error. I like how they take a Beatles song and make it really like dark and gothic. 
Enjoy the Silence by Lacuna Coil off of Karma Code. They definitely kept the spirit of that song as well as putting their own spin on it. And then Refuse Resist by Hatebreed off of For the Lions. I love Hatebreed. They do some pretty good covers, but this is probably my favorite cover of theirs. If you've heard the Charm the Fury's new album, let me know your thoughts on the album or what you think about the band as a whole. If you haven't heard it, you should definitely check it out and give me your thoughts on how you feel about this band as a young band. And I'm sorry this is released on a Saturday. There might be some Friday or Saturday releases on the show coming up. It's concert season, so there's going to be a lot of things coming out. So, And that does it for this episode of Spin Cycle, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye. Hey, you made it to the end of the video. Nice work. Good job. If you like what you saw, you can just go ahead and click that subscribe button for all videos past and future. You can also head over to my website and see all the other stuff that I do, including the books I've written. So go ahead, click stuff.